All right. So leading into the 2023 World Swimming Championships, Sarah Shorstrom, in the minds of anyone that really knows swimming, was already undeniably one of the best swimmers we've ever seen and is in the conversation, if not is the conversation for the best sprinter that we've ever seen in swimming. But knowing this, I still did not think what Sarah Shorstrom did on the second to last day of competition at the 2023 World Swimming Championships was possible. So for some reason that doesn't make any sense to me for a little bit of context, the event organizers for the World Championships decided to slam together two events so close to one another that it seemed almost impossible for someone just logistically to be able to swim a double. And if you don't know swimming, if you're not a swimming nerd, the term double might sound like I'm talking about baseball or something, but it's not. A double in swimming is really just when you try to swim two events in one day, two individual events typically in one day. So with this in mind, usually event organizers will try to space out events to allow for the best swimmers in the world, like a Michael Phelps, to be able to swim the 200 and the 400 IM stretched out across the entire event schedule so that you don't have like a, a butterfly or trying to swim the 100 and 200 butterfly or the 50 and 100 butterfly in one session because it's, it's beneficial for everyone. It's beneficial for event organizers, for fans, for swimmers. If you get to see the best swimmers in the world, swim as many events as possible, as fresh as they possibly can be. So when something like this, what's on the screen next to me popped up, it should be highlighted. When something like this pops up, it really makes you scratch your head. What you're looking at on the screen next to me is the women's 50 butterfly final separated by one heat, the fastest possible heat in the event program, the men's 50 freestyle final. And then we head right into the semifinals for the women's 50 freestyle. So you have two events, the 50 butterfly and 50 freestyle that are very typical, very typically seen with a lot of the same names represented in, in both of the events. Basically, if you're a 50 freestyler and you're looking to add an event to your lineup, just don't swing your arms one by one. Swing them both at the same times for a 50, you know, 50 butterfly, 50 freestyle, a lot of the same names. That's all I'm trying to say here. So we slammed them together and just kind of said, good luck. And you know what? Maybe it worked because I'm, I'm making a video about it. So maybe, maybe it was on purpose. So context provided, Sarah Shrustrom was swimming in the first heat, the first and only heat of the women's 50 butterfly. And then luckily, since she's really, really good at swimming, was the top qualifier coming out of prelims in the 50 freestyle. So she got to swim in the second semifinal and got an extra 50 freestyle to prepare. So she probably could have gotten a massage, maybe went out to eat, maybe, you know, traveled to a different city, done some sightseeing and then come back in time because she had a whole extra 50 before she had to swim her semifinal and try to win a gold medal in the 50 fly take a quick break, and then now you're tasked with trying to compete with some of the fastest 50 freestylers in the world and try to qualify for the final that's on the next coming night. Nevertheless, Sarah Shorstrom steps up on the block for the 50 butterfly where she holds the world record and it is such a fast world record that people actually even blame the wind. They say it's a wind aided world record. And you know what? If you look at the video, the flags are kind of whipping in it. It looks like there's a little bit of wind and that record is so preposterously fast that I kind of understand the conspiracy theory, whatever. Get on board with it if you want. If not, that's fine too. But she gets it done. She wins the gold medal in the 50 Butterflyer. She's the best 50 Butterflyer that we've ever seen. And the clock starts. Roughly 15 minutes, 15 minutes to go from winning a world title to cooling down, to drying off if she has time, to walking her way all the way over to the ready room to get her bib put on and then do her walkout for the 50 freestyle semifinal. So Sarah Swoistrom is one gold medal richer, <laughs> richer if you want to call it that. At this session of the 2023 World Championship, she steps up on the block for the 50 freestyle, probably a little bit tired, ready to try and rip a 50 free and qualify for the final. And what does Sarah Swoistrom do? She breaks the world record. She breaks the world record in the 50 freestyle and goes 23.61 about 15 minutes after winning gold in the 50 butterfly. I usually type up some context to go with my live tweets, my live tweets from a big meet like this, but this one really didn't feel like it needed too many words. So I just basically said, Sarah Shoystrom, you are incredible. And she is. She's the best sprinter that we've ever seen. And this, I think, just kind of proves that a little bit more. She would come back just to prove it even a little bit further in the women's 50 freestyle final, just barely missing the world record that she set in the semis, going 23.62, just to prove to everyone that it wasn't just the wind that helped her set that record. That was a joke. The meet's indoor. Moving on. Thanks for watching, y'all. Hit that like button if Sarah Shorstrom is faster than you in the 50 freestyle. Hit that subscribe button if you want more videos like this to pop up on your homepage. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya.